open horizons in my life. I was raised in this sweet little house and I knew that my parents loved me, but for some reason I just got caught up into the lie that people would love me more the better I was. But still it was there was something missing and perfect just wasn't good enough. I think by the end of my junior year, I was just exhausted. I was sitting on the dock at Lake Arlington, because that's where the cool kids go, and looked at a friend and said, I don't want to be good anymore. I've tried to be perfect all my life, and I have nothing to show for it. I'm just going to be bad. In November of my freshman year at college, I just became totally hopeless. I'm like filling these holes, like filling these holes, pursuing all of these things to fill my, the emptiness I have. So if it's not alcohol, then it was drugs. And it just culminated into total hopelessness. I tried to kill myself. My parents brought me home, put me in rehab, cleaned myself up, and still was just this lost, like, nothingness. And then whenever I went back to school again, I met this great guy, and everything was just perfect. He filled all this emptiness that I thought that I never could. I just, he became my world. After, like, some ridiculous fight, I found myself laying in bed, praying to a God that I didn't even know if I believed in him. And I told him, <laughs> God, maybe if you just gave us a baby, it would make life so much better. That spring, I found out I was pregnant and our world just fell apart. Thought that it would save our relationship, but whenever I found out I was pregnant, I was like, oh, no, 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 this is not happening. And so, um, in that summer, we went to a clinic and, um, went and aborted our baby. It was one of the most horrific experiences of my life and, um, something that I hope I never ever forget. And then two weeks later, we had a checkup appointment with the same clinic. And go back and they come out and tell me that I'm still pregnant. So we do it again. And we go through the whole process again. At which point, this doctor looks at me and says, yeah, I've done this for 30 years and I've never seen this happen, but um, it looks like it's not working, so you might want to think about you're probably pregnant for a reason. And I just knew we were gonna keep them. As much as I wanted to be with my family, um, I was terrified. And like so many of them were like, we're just so thankful that Claire's having this baby and we're just so thankful that she chose life and I just lost it and like totally broke down and so I told them that I tried to kill my baby and I didn't want him to live and I didn't choose life and I don't know how you can be thankful for this and this is not a happy thing this is like crazy and horrible and I'm having a un I'm unwed and having this child and my brothers laughed. Carson laughed so hard that I didn't know what to do. I was like, this isn't funny, but why is he laughing? And he just worshiped the Lord and caused our whole family in front of me, like this non-believer who did not believe, even believe that God was real, watching these four people in my family Praise God that he rescued this baby to bring me home. 
So I'm going to the Rooted Church alone, which is kind of weird now that I think about it. And it's Valentine's Day, February 14th. So I go and I'm like thinking this is probably going to be my last Sunday before I have my baby. And I hear the sermon and he asks the question, is your life explainable apart from the Holy Spirit? I mean, there was n no doubt in my heart at this point that there was a God that loved me, that wanted me to be His, and that even though I felt so undeserving and, what is, and that I'm this dirty, rotten sinner who deserves no grace at all, He still was calling me. And all these holes that I sought my whole life to fill, he's there and he's filled them. You open horizons in my life of limitless and cloudless hope. You defied the gravity in me and give wings to my flightlessness, oh, Christ has set me free from negativity, from impossibility, oh, Christ has set me free, all hope has been released, oh, Christ has set me free. Simple. 